Hey y'all, this is gonna be a reading for my Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, um, I hope y'all are doing well. Okay, before we get into it, y'all, I do want to announce that I am offering $30 personal readings, okay? This reading gives you the opportunity to ask as many questions as you want, okay? This could be about anything. Anything you guys would like to know, you can ask. It could be regarding love, career, finances, anything in general, okay? It could be a general reading. Any type of reading you guys want, okay? Uh, anything you would like to ask, you can, okay? Um, and if you guys would like to purchase one of these readings, then you can look down in my description box below underneath this video. Scroll down and all the information will be down there, okay? And go ahead and purchase one right now, okay? Get y'all readings out there, okay? So that you won't have to wait too long to get y'all readings out, I mean, to you, okay? So, let's get into it. So, this is going to be reading for my Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So, Spirit, what's coming towards my Taurus Virgo Capricorn for the, rest, for the first week of November, Okay, this is going to be a November reading, y'all. Okay, so let's see what's coming towards my Taurus Virgo Capricorn for the first week of November. Okay, we got the chariot. So there could be a kiss or coming towards you, okay? doesn't have to be. It could be any sign, okay? But somebody's wanting to take action towards you. Somebody is wanting to um, come in, okay, with the chariot. Let me see. What else we have? Okay, yeah, the Five of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come in because they feel left out in the cold by you, okay? So they want to come in and talk to you, get your attention because they feel like you're ignoring them or like you're not giving them your energy or something like that, okay? Um, I feel like this person misses you. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but they miss you. Let's see what else we have. This could be another Earth sign you guys are dealing with, okay? We got the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, yeah. So it's like, I feel like this person wants to come in with this offer, but it's like, they kind of feel afraid, okay? Because they don't know like what's gonna, ex what, what they're gonna expect, okay, from you, all right? Because they do feel like you are ignoring them, like you don't want nothing to do with them. So they feel like if they was to come in and try to text you or call you, that you would block them or you would cut them off, okay? So I feel like this person is in a lot of fear right now, you guys, about this. Where they're not sleeping at night. Like, I feel like this person is not sleeping at night, okay? They want to come in. I feel like that's all they want to do. They want to come in. Okay, let me just move this up a little. Okay. What else, Spirit? What else is coming towards my Taurus Virgo Capricorn for the first week of November 2022? Let me see. What else we got? We got the Five of Swords. Yeah. Okay, so this person, they feel like, they feel defeated, okay? They feel like it's over between you two, okay? They feel like it's done. Like, there's no coming back. The connection is over. The friendship is over. The the, the love connection is over, okay? Whatever connection you and this person had, y'all, they feel like it's over, Okay, but they don't want it to be over. That's why they're coming in. That's why they want to um, take action because they feel like it's it's over because you're ignoring them. You're not talking to them. You you cut them off. Just making them think that it's over, but they don't want it to. Okay, they're stressing out. Okay, this person is not sleeping at night, y'all, because they just feel like it's over between you two, and they don't want it to. Yeah, the six of cups. It's like they want to, they miss you. They want to make amends with you. Okay. They want to see you. They want to talk to you. They're thinking about you. Okay. This, this is definitely somebody from your past. Okay. You and this person had a connection. Okay. Yeah. The page of swords. It's like all they could think about is you. All they could do is watch you online, see what you're up to, see what you're posting on social media. Okay. And it's like the more they look at you, look at your pictures, I feel, I feel like they're also looking at old text messages. Like the more they do this, the more they miss you, okay? The more they want you, okay? This person just feel, is feeling a little ignored by you, y'all, okay? And y'all really could have cut this person off, okay? Y'all really could have said, nope, I don't want to be with you. I'm done. I'm not really feeling you. And this person is not taking it right, Okay? Because this person really is interested. They don't want to leave you. They don't want you to leave them. Okay, let's see what else we have here for my earth sign spirit. What are the messages? 
we have the knight of pentacles wow okay so it's like they want to come in right this person wants to come in but it's like they're scared y'all okay y'all scaring this person they're scared they have a lot they're very nervous okay about making a move to you okay they're thinking about it okay they want to they want to come in and text you or call you or message you or you know drop knock on your door or whatever they want to do it but they're nervous okay with this knight of pentacles they're moving very slow okay because they feel like you're leaving them out in the cold so it's like they they don't want to come in because they they feel like your energy is off or something like that okay what else do we have yeah the moon nine of wands and the eight of wands you see yeah could be a pisces could be a fire sign Aries or sagittarius Okay, I'm getting air. It could be an air sign some of y'all are dealing with. Okay, or it could be another uh, earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, but with this moon, nine of wands, it's like this person, like I said, they they have a lot of fear, y'all, okay, about coming in. They don't know what to expect. They feel like you're too guarded. They feel like you're just not going to let them in. Like, y'all going to reject them, okay? It's like they want to offer you something, but they feel like you're going to reject their offer. Whatever they want to do, whatever they want to come in with, they feel like you're just going to completely ignore it and you don't want to accept it, okay? And I feel like it's communication. I feel like it's them just wanting to talk to you and wanting to speak to you and try to, you know, connect with you and see how you've been and this, that, and the third. But they feel like, I don't know, like y'all is just not going to, give them y'all's attention back okay they feel like it's not going to be reciprocated okay y'all is done with this person i can see it okay y'all don't want nothing to do with this person at all and they know that they know this big time y'all they know that you don't want anything to do with them okay all they want to do is talk to you they want to talk to you and i feel like they will talk to you but it's going to take them some time because their nerves is getting to them okay they don't know what to expect from you because they feel like you're y'all are pushing them away that y'all don't want anything to do with them okay but they they miss you they want to build a connection with you. i mean not build a connection with you because you already had a connection but they want to um have a fresh new start with you okay rebuild this connection okay um yeah let's see what else what else we got here what are the messages yeah we got the queen of pentacles and the ace of swords to see so it's like they're looking at you like you are focused on yourself focus on your money your finances which y'all probably are and they it's like they feel like there's no coming back to you. Like they feel defeated because they feel like you already moved on and you don't want nothing to do with them. You're focused on yourself now. Okay. But they don't want that with this ace of swords. They want to talk to you. They want to communicate with you. They want to tell you how they feel. They want to speak their mind. They want to speak their truth. But they feel like you're acting a lot like very nonchalant, like just doing you. Okay. And that's okay, y'all. That's very much fine, okay? But this person isn't taking it well at all, <laughs> okay? So, yeah, y'all. This is the reading for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I really appreciate it. And if you guys would like that personal reading for $30, asking as many questions as you want, Feel free to purchase one right now. Scroll down in my description box below and get y'all readings. Okay? Bye.